Are you looking to take your portrait edits to the next level? Watch this video until the end. With its advanced retouching tools and AI interface, Luminar Neo makes it easy to retouch photos and portraits like a pro. In this video, I'll take you through some of the most awesome portrait edits you can achieve with Luminar Neo. From skin smoothing to eye brightening, I'll cover it all and show you how to create stunning portraits that will wow your clients and followers. Let's get straight to the point. Okay, here's the photograph I will be retouching today. Um, I will start by fixing the composition. For that, I will go to Crop AI and click on Comp Composition AI to see what Luminar Neo recommends. Okay, I will move it here and here and adjust this area just to have a little bit of rooming here and these lines close to her eyes. So I will apply the composition. Yes, it's okay. Now I will move to the develop raw tool, select a profile. In this case, I will try portrait and let me switch to neutral. I like portrait better for the mood and tone I'm looking for. And in the color, let me try shade to RNG. I think the, the way it was shot is okay with me. All right, so far with two simple adjustments of Luminar Neo, we have transformed this photograph from this to this. Okay, it's really nice, but that will enhance this photo further. So now the next step is to click on enhancing here and I will apply some enhancement. Around 50 is fine. Yes, okay, just to enhance the other areas. Now I will do some skin retouching. So first I will erase this to blemishes in here let me try the erase tool first to see how it works let me try this one first yes now we try the other one good now i will switch to skin ai amount we will crazy about 65 in here good and scan defects removal good nice all right i'm done with skin let me do face now uh, we'll do some face light not that much around 20 25 let me try 25 mm, yes i'll slim the face around 20 as well yes and now the eyes, my typical eye enhancer, I will do 70. Yes. Uh, this circle removals, I will crank this one 100. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but I will do something else later on. Let me lower that to 90 and improve the eyebrows. Okay. Good. Now moving to the lips. The mouth saturation redness okay yes good so far we have come from here to here if you like it till here that's fine i think it looks good i still want to fix a little bit this part here more and enhance her eyes a little bit more so now i will do some details just to sharpen her eyes and this section here right so i will go to the details section i will click on small details and move that toward the 40s and medium details i will move that around maybe the same amount or maybe less 30 is okay i'm just looking at her eyes sharpen the touch maybe around 10. okay now I'll switch to mask in and click brush and with a strength maybe around 40%. I will decrease the size and I will start only painting the effect over her eyes and her eyebrows. Maybe a touch on her lips. No. Okay. See? I will do my typical dodge and burning. The dodge tool. 
I will the amount decrease that to 50. 49.50 is okay. Lighten the strength below nine, below 10, nine, the size. I will do the forehead, this T area, cheekbones, also hair eyes. I will reduce the size and touching here and here. And whatever you see highlights, you want to apply that a little bit also in this part. But you have to be careful because you will have a tendency, a Dutch and burn has a tendency to put this uh, in a reddish type of color. So I will erase that from there. I don't want that to be there. Let's do. So I will use another AI tool. Oops, too much. Then we'll use another AI tool to fix that. Okay, now we'll switch back to lighten and there. Okay. Let's see. I always come back and fix it. Okay, good. Now I will use another Dutch and burn tool. Mount 50. Size is okay. Strength is okay. I'll reduce the size and I will do this highlights over hair. Hair. Okay, I want to accent is highlights in here okay that's good good there there, there. let me check so I want to add more in here here so i'm doing it fast but take your time guys this part is really important because it's the one that will provide that interesting look and quite more depth. So I'm okay with that far. Yes. I will use another Dutch and burn tool, but in this time, but this time I will just use the darken one. Reduce that the strength again around 10 or nine. And then I will do the opposite. I will start painting the dark areas. Okay. Over there, yes. See, not too much, but where you see darks, shadows, you want to apply that. Okay, good. Let me check that one. Good. I will reduce it more, and we'll do one pass across her chin. Okay. So far, good. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Now I will add some glow to her skin in here just to create it looks soft, but I want it soft there. So I will use the glow tool. We use the glow and mount is fine. And then I want that only strength of 60 I want that here only this area not the dress but her skin here it is part of the chest or your neck here in the arms okay Very roughly around there okay that should provide that extra glow Okay, you can always control the amount if you want to apply more or less. I think that around there is fine. Good. I will also use a glow tool. This time it's going to be in soft focus. Uh, I'm looking at here. And then I will do masking again. Brush. So it's a 60 is fine. Let me try this one. Okay. 
then I will play with the amount. Because I want to get rid of those things. Let's see. I think that is not working, so I will not use it. I will leave it the way it is right now. Yes. Maybe I can go back to uh, face AI. The eyes. I crank this to 100. Mm -hmm. And go back to the tools. And looks more natural this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Now a couple of things I can do here. First, I will add a flare of light in this corner. For that, I will use my left. Yeah, rainy sun on the left. So I will increase the size. But here, have it touch here a little bit. Here to opacity 100. Good. And now I will colorize it using the color section in the tint is there. And I will do another one. This time it's going to be on the right. Yes. It's going to be here. But I will uh, flip that low. And increase the capacity around there. And also, we'll apply some color to tint. Okay. Flares are interesting. I like them. They, uh, how everything is kind of integrated. Um, you can add, add a vignette if you want to. If I were to add some vignettes in here, I would do the develop. But let me go back to the photograph. And I will go to develop. We close all this. Go to mask in and select linear gradient and do this there and then go to adjustments and light and start lowering the exposure just to a point that it's not distracting right same you can do in your gradient on the top this way around that Yes, you see how the focus is. What is this lining here? Very strange. It's one of the flares. Let me check. Let me hide this one. Let me hide the other one. Yes, it's this flare. You see? It's creating that, that halo. Okay. The way to fix that, let me show tell you how to do it. I will click on masking, select a brush, I will erase, I will put the strength to be around 30. And with a big brush, start painting around. Start erasing around here. See? Okay. You click, click, click until it's gone. Okay. Good. I will turn back on the other one and there's no more line in there. Great. Okay, guys, here's the portrait. Um, let me know what you think about it. I think it's okay. Uh, we have transformed this photograph from this to this. If you don't want the flares, you can remove them. You know, it's, it's your liking, guys. Okay, guys, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the like button, the bell, so you can get a notification every time I upload new content. So guys, until the next straight to the point tutorials, God bless you all. Bye-bye.